Okay, kids, we've got a video tonight on a product that arrived. It actually arrived yesterday, and I found it when I walked out the door this morning. It was really windy yesterday, and the box just didn't weigh much and got blown off and was laying against my neighbor's garage on my lawn. And uh, so I took it into work, and I knew what it was. But I took it, opened it up, checked it out. And uh, we'll do a little unboxing review on these. The Impel M30s earbuds. These are sent out to me for my review. No one is going to see this video before it gets posted. Um, all opinions will be my own. Um, we are shooting on the Redmi Note 8. Um, on the kind of crappy 13 megapixel camera and you will notice right away if you look back at the last couple of videos the difference between like the Mi A2 and the Mi A3 shots on the front face there. Now the rear facing should look just as good. The cameras are almost absolutely identical. So without further ado Let's get to the intro and we'll talk about the product and then I'll come back and tell you what I did to the Redmi Note 8 to make it. I switched it over to a daily driver today. We'll talk about that near the end of the video. Let's get to that right now. Okay, folks, I'm back, and uh, we're going to get these out of the little case they came in, if I can do this without looking too retarded. Uh, there's the box, and let's look at what we got here. We've got uh, bass, audio. And you can use these in left or right mono mode. Obviously, you're going to use loose control or whatever one does over the other. Uh, the left earbud lowers volume. The right earbud raises it. You can take calls with either or both. These are IPX7 and Bluetooth 5.0. So, all that being said, this is the same thing on the back twin and mono mode touch controls and they charge at 5 volts 2 amps you get about 5 hours of play time according to them uh, and the charging case will give you another 20 hours it says 20 hours <coughs> yeah that's like Three more recharges total. All right, so see if we can. <coughs> I'm sneezing here, folks. I think I got a cold. Uh, I hope not. Uh oh. Could be the coronavirus. Hmm. Okay. That's a pretty nice box. It comes in. Nice presentation. And that's where you're going to see them when you get them. Oh, we've got our two earbuds and our case. So we're going to get them out of here. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff that comes in the package. And I got these little things. They're rubber. They kind of tuck under your ears. Yeah, kind of and they immediately start to try to bear. Uh, when you open the case, normally they'll do that. So you get spare ear tips in several sizes, small, medium, and large. They come with the mediums. I uh, use the uh, smalls, put them on there already. You get uh, an extra set. No, two more sets of these things. So 
So these probably are the smalls that are on there. And then you get a medium and a larger one. Right there. For, you know, getting them to lock into your ear. And a USB-C charging cable. 5 volts, 1 amp is how you want to charge them. And last but not least, oh, yeah, there's some warranty cards in here and other good stuff from MPOW, such as that. You can extend your warranty out. You do not want to use a high-speed charger. Oh, and look. I've been chosen to get an Amazon gift card. Congratulations from Amazon. Yay. That's kind of cool. Uh, and here... We've got some warnings about the charging, basically. So, set those all over there. And then we've got our owner's manual here in English and a number of other languages. Tells you how to turn them on, off, how to pair them, and uh, when you uh, open the case, you'll automatically enter the charging mode. You're never going to see that because it's much light coming down. So, you're just going to have to trust me on that. and. Uh, I'm going to check out the controls here. They're on the back side. Volume up. You, uh, oh my god. I don't know. There's just no way to show you that, folks, uh, without turning the flash off or something. I guess I could for a second. Um,. But basically, it's uh, press and hold the right earbud to turn up the volume, and press and hold the left earbud to turn down the volume. I'm just going to read them to you. And to answer or hang up a call, you would uh, simply hit it once. Actually, you'd double touch it. Answer or hang up. Press and hold to reject the call. Mm hmm. Now you can pull these out one at a time and listen to them. And you can clear off all the paired information by holding down the, they call it the MFB button, the touch screen, you know, the touch pads. And then uh, they are waterproof and uh, they work quite well. So that's all we got as far as that info. And you'll get a green light, I guess once it's charged, I guess. I haven't charged it up yet. But I think they're charged up. <laughs> and 
I can scan the QR code on this and get a free two-year update. So, let's drop them in the case and see what happens. Make sure I'm, that's the right earbud. So, drop it in there. Like that. Mm -hmm. Drop that one in here. Like this. Close it. And the next thing we're going to do is turn on our new mobile G3. It might be old, it might be ancient tech, but I'll tell you what, looks like a champ as far as audio goes because it's got all the songs. All the songs, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clear everything out of here. Ooh, and the percentage is way down on these. That's okay. Alright, now we're going to open them up like so. We're going to see what happens. We should try to pair up. <laughs> yeah. I think with our settings. Yeah. I'm still. All right. Well, oh, you're gonna have to trust me. They're there. So, we're gonna click. We're gonna pair. And we are now paired to these earbuds. Which means <coughs> I could pull them out, stick them in my ear. And start getting tunes out, hopefully. So, I'll try that for a minute or two and be right back. Alright folks, I'm back. Uh, I played around with them, the impals, and uh, their uh, the sound is awesome. It really is. I mean, obviously, I can't show you the sound, and I'm not going to sit here going, eh. The bass is really good. Surprisingly good. The uh, mid-range is good. You don't need any kind of equalizer turned on, folks. Just go. Flat. No equalizer. And you're going to like them. They're worth your money, I think, at this point. Uh, the case is small, light, and uh, it's got a nice finish. And it handles drops really well because I've dropped it. It's very slippery. I don't know why, but quite slippery. But when you pop it open, the auto pair to your phone provided you're using the same phone, and uh, you'll be good to go. So, that covers the uh, unboxing and initial impressions of the Impel M30s. Good stuff from Impel. So far, I've yet to get a bad product. Um, and uh, there will be a longer-term review, you know, 
put them in my ears the rest of the week at work and maybe play some tunes if I could find enough room on the drive here for all the music. Yeah. Now, of course, we, to be honest, we went back to, I mean, there's no point in owning the Redmi Note 8 and not testing everything out. So, you know, we got that gorgeous case from uh, Holy crap, brain port, uh, rinky, Fusion X, does a nice job, it's got plenty of lip, maybe I'll put a skin on them eventually on the front, I don't know, we'll see, the back is, yeah, to quote to somebody I watch occasionally, some guy named Pro Anthony over Project 13. That's one sexy phone. <laughs> There's nothing. If you find a phone sexy at all, you have problems. But it's one good looking phone. But I don't want to stare at the back. I want to get by what's up front. But we put the SIM card back in this one today. I got all my apps downloaded. I still have about 40 gig free. Now we haven't processed this video, of course. And because I can't format a card as internal, I'm gonna be doing the same, you know, balancing act for a while until somebody tells me how to get Redmi Note 8 to format a card has internal storage. And don't tell me in Hindi. I, there's a ton of videos on how to do it. I don't speak a word of Hindi and I don't have time to learn. So, all that being said, it's a really good phone. I did put screenshots upcoming front first screen second screen and then the after looking very cool now that's using something that totally gives us an after right away it's called the Nova Launcher I put the smoking glass icons on it. Mm. It looks just like my new mobile G3. But if you swipe up from the middle, guess what? App drawer! And so you have, I have two screens with all the apps I use. The only weird thing is I have way too much room. To, I could put a whole other line of apps. But I got nothing else I use on a regular basis. So, that being said, I think we're done. Uh, we'll be using the Redmi Note 8 for a while. We'll check out battery life and all that good stuff. We're going to run out of disk space. But until I'm done editing in PowerDirector, I'll have used up, you know, large chunks, but we'll see. And I have to move some of my, like, intro and outro files over to here. Yeah, real pain in the ass. But it must be done. And I'll figure out the one, the only other problem I have the home screen doesn't rotate, auto rotate. It's like, what? No, if you hit an app, it boop, it's auto rotated. I don't know. That may be a Nova launcher setting. That may be a me UI setting. Yeah. 
Neil I could have done this. Or Xiaomi. Xiaomi could have done this a huge character. And just used something more akin to pure Google, like uh, Color OS and on the. Uh, oh, oh. Hell, I can't even remember the name of them. The other, the big mid rangers, which are no longer mid rangers, those guys. <sighs> And a lot of other ones. The Vivos. The Real Me's. All those. But they didn't. I can't fix that. I don't own Xiaomi. Yet. But... In all seriousness, that's all I have. Check all the links in the description below. You'll see the link for this. And by the way, this isn't going to look nearly as good as the Mi A2 videos. I had a lot of time to tweak that. And then before that, the Mi A3s, I pretty much had it down to science. Not quite as good as I do. On the, on the Mi 2 but that's neither here nor there. Make sure to check the links below and leave a viable comment in the comment section. If you leave a comment about my ceiling fan or if you leave a stupid comment that has nothing to do with the video just to leave a comment. I mean, I, I don't mind negative comments. I don't mind positive comments. What I do mind are wasted comments that waste my time. Um, in that case, your comment will just be immediately deleted. I've given warnings to one guy who does this all the time. I swear to God, he says he's 31 years old and I got him pegged at 15 based on his behavior. Or he's just a nutcase with mental issues. Then again, we all have mental issues. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, wash your hands for 20 seconds under hot water and you won't get the coronavirus. Uh, if you're that worried about it, don't be paranoid. We'll catch you in the next one. And we'll talk more about the Redmi Note 8. I like the phone. I love the rear screen fingerprint reader. Let's do the outro. Time for me to get vaporized. And we're out of here.